Hey everybody, Mickey here from Rusty Bucket Studios. I just uh, figured I'd make a little video, a little how-to video. Um, this is basically a video how I'm going to show you exactly how you can get your vinyls, like your actual, your vinyls, into an MP3 form using your audio interface. And it's pretty simple. All you need is an AUX cable to run to your audio interface and a um, adapter that turns your 3.5 millimeter input into a quarter inch input so you can plug it into the guitar input into your audio interface and it looks something like this I've got my headphones jack coming out of my record player and I've got it running and connected into my audio interface with this adapter and basically all you do is you set it to the input of your adapter <coughs> excuse me and you select the track manually you hit record first and you can edit it, edit it later save the track details and you're good to go so for instance right now I'm actually putting um, the old 1971 killer album by Alice Cooper into an mp3 or, or WAV form so that I can listen to my vinyls while I'm jogging or working out so that I'm not limited to just listening to them at home I can actually Burn them on CD and bring them in my car or play them right off my phone. Um, and it's really handy and it's really easy. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So as you can see, I've got my, uh, I'll explain it all again. Into your phone's jack, you obviously need a newer um, record player for this with a phone's, uh, headphone jack. So you plug it into your headphone jack. This is a 3.5 millimeter jack or an AUX cable as many would call it. And this is just a cable that's just an extender. And I've got it plugged into another AUX cable, this extender. And I've got it plugged into a th uh, an adapter that turns it into a quarter inch uh, stereo jack. So that you can plug it right into your guitar input. And I've got it all armed to record and ready to go. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is right now I'm on the last track on this. And it's called Desperado. So I'm going to want to find Desperado or the very end of the track before it, which is Halo of Flies. So you're going to want to find it. And you can see if you've ever owned a record player or played records before, you know how to choose your track. So just choosing it accordingly. Put it as close to the end of the last track before as you can. I'm just going to turn that down so I can talk for now. But now all you have to do is hit record on your DAW. And as you can see, it's recording the audio. And you can get rid of the end of the track and, and cut it out and drag it back to the beginning so that it starts right where you want it to. So here you'll see. Song ended and you can see it ended there. And we're starting on the next track. And you can go back and edit that, cut it, drag it to the beginning, and you've got the starting of the song. Basically, you just let it play through. Sorry. Basically, you just let it play through. And by the time it's done, you hit stop. And then you just save the details, export it into your media player, and put it on your phone or your MP3 player, and you're good to go. And there you go. You can just easily and um, one thing that I will mention you'll have what you what's called your peak or your peak sense and that is gonna be a detector of how much signal it picks up like how loud the signal is and you really don't want it to be too too loud um, you don't really need it to be um, just don't let it peak don't let it to uh, um, what peaking would be is basically where it gets too loud and it distorts the sound um, so you want to keep it at a pretty moderate level um, even at the highest parts in this song, um, it's it's coming in pretty low. As you can see, it's not popping up and going up to the top here. It's just kind of staying a nice... That's kind of what you want, is just a nice steady line. Not too small to the point where you get, have to crank it to actually hear it, but not too loud as to blow your car speakers or your earbuds out. But yeah, simple as that. That's how you put your vinyl recorded onto your DAW. Hope this helps, guys.